Hey guys, welcome to Nicole's Productions and in this video, um, basically what I'll be doing is I'll be benchmarking the Galaxy uh, S3. Uh, so, uh, to tell you about the benchmark that I'll be running, I'll firstly be running uh, the stand Quadrant Standard, which is uh, a benchmark which tests almost everything like uh, the CPU, the GPU, uh, the memory, the storage, uh, and then after running Quadrant Standard, I'll go on to see uh, the Lin Pack for Android, which will test basically the CPU only. And then we'll go on to uh, uh, Nano Mark 2, which will test the GPU. So hopefully this will give you an overall idea of the benchmarks and the performance of of the Galaxy S3. Um, let me just go ahead and open up uh, Lin Pack first, and I'll run single thread thrice, then multi thread thrice. So this is the first uh, single thread and I'm getting a score of 55.889 megaflops. Let's run for the second time. I got another 55.263. Uh, run for the last and third time. I got a score of 57.224 uh, megaflops. So as you can see, the, it's very consistent on it around 50s. Uh, the mid 50s to higher 50s in the single thread let's run the multi threaded and I'm got, getting a score 106.954 in the first run let's run it again and this time I'm getting a score of 94.28 megaflops let's run it for the third and last time and this time I got a score of 109.169 so you saw that I'm uh, ranging from the higher uh, if I'm from uh, 109 to about 94. Uh, not much, uh, not much uh, diverse. The scores are very concentrated uh, towards the higher 90s or the uh, early hundreds, I would say. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this gave you a good idea of the CPU, uh, of the CPU performance of the Galaxy S3. Let's run the Nano Mark II. I'll run this one twice to give you a better idea of how. Uh, the scores are it's running for the first time as you know it's running the Mali 400 MP4 GPU and I think in my opinion it's clocked significantly higher than the previous uh, previous Galaxy S2 Mali 400 uh, and I think the memory bandwidth has also been increased so which results in uh, quite a huge performance boost compared to the previous generation Galaxy S2 um, I think we should get the score by now. And here it is, 58.7 megaflops, uh, frames per second. Let's run it again. And I would like to say, as for the gaming and the display on this, I don't think there's any other smartphone that even comes close to the quality and the performance of the Galaxy S3. So yeah, it is probably one of the best gaming and media, uh, media oriented phone out there. So we got again a 58.4. So yeah, hopefully this gave you an idea of how the GPU uh, performance of the Galaxy S3 is. Let's lastly learn Quadrant Standards. As you can see, it'll test CPU, memory, I/O, 2D, and 3D. Uh, it's basically a combined uh, score it will give you of all. And you can see the Galaxy S3 is blazing fast. All the uh, tests here. Um, and now it's testing the GPU, and you can see the frame rate down here. I would say yeah, it's running at 60 frames currently. Fifty-eight, fifty-nine, seventy, sixty again, sixty-six, sixty. Uh, you can see that uh, the frame rate usually stays high, fifty-five, uh, above fifty-five always. There's never been any any benchmark uh, that I've seen it go below fifties. Here again, you can see it's currently at sixty-four frames a second, seventy to end with. So let's go ahead and process the results.
and as usual it came out on top it got a score of 52 28 uh, but yeah when I've just tested it I've got uh, a scores of up to 5400 as well so yeah as you can see um, the CPU got a score down here of around uh, 12714 the memory got 4597 uh, the IO got a score of 5823 the 2D graphics got a score of 1000 and the 3D got a score of 2005 so yeah, this was pretty much a quick benchmark, uh, benchmarking test of the Galaxy S3. Hope you guys enjoyed it and for more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching this and call. Peace out.